very warm welcome to all my mommy friends. Let me give you some insights into the science of learning today. I'm going to introduce you to three friends of mine who taught me all about how my child learns. Meet my first friend, sensitivity or sensitive period. As a child moves through various stages of development, he or she can use the environment to grow. Sensitive periods are blocks of time in a child's development when the child prioritizes learning one skill over the others. Italian educator Maria Montessori was the one to introduce this term in early childhood education. These periods last for some time and then the child moves on. Research tells us that this window of opportunity when the child is more than willing to learn is created naturally and can produce the best results. Bell, a word is in the well. Let's find out what it is all about. How many did you get this time? One. What's that word, Shia? Oh, you fished fox! How do you know when a child reaches a sensitive period? The child shows keen interest in learning a particular skill. The child repeats the activity over and over again and won't get tired of it. The child voluntarily practices the activity related to the skill. The child is determined to finish the task and does not like to be interrupted. So what could you do to enhance your child's learning in these sensitive periods? The most important one is to have some knowledge about when these sensitivities approximately appear in your child's life. It is important to allow your child to explore his or her environment keeping safety in mind. Provide ample opportunities to do so. You could either designate a space for exploration or you could take your child outdoors and explore together. Do you like my food? The materials needed for your child to explore his or her environment should be easily accessible and should be available to the child. I want to see a fruit here. Okay. We're testing it. It's working. It's working. Oh, fantastic. My second friend is pruning. Just like you would trim away the weeds in your garden, there is a de-weeding process or trimming process that goes on in our brains as well. Surprised? Have you heard of the term use it or lose it? This is it. Pruning is a natural process. In our brain, information is passed from one place to another via something called a neuron. A neuron is connected to another neuron through a bridge called a synapse. These connections multiply as the brain grows. At the age of 2 to 3 years, these connections explode. After which, pruning or trimming is necessary for the brain to grow normally. Pruning helped me understand the importance of positive reinforcement. If a child is exposed to positive stimuli like love, care, praise, encouragement, confidence, etc., more often than negative stimuli like stress, abuse, trauma, the foundation of the brain is solid. Ray, okay. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Betu. Very nice. You have begun to color now. Lovely! My third friend is neuroplasticity. Neuroscience has advanced at lightning speed over the last few decades. Earlier it was believed that once a brain learns something, it is impossible to change that. 
but now we know that the brain is plastic. That means the brain can mold and adapt to change with repeated exposure. So how did neuroplasticity and learning about neuroplasticity help me as a parent? Well, it taught me that it is possible, in fact, to rewire the brain. My daughter learned alphabet names before sounds. So she learned to say A before A, B before B. And then I found out that learning sounds, in fact, aids reading better. But I didn't worry because when I taught her the sounds, she learned it effortlessly. It wasn't that that learning that she had before was permanent. So make mistakes and be gentle with yourself. There is no need to worry if you have taught one concept and then you learn that this is something that you didn't want to teach in the first place. Your brain can be rewired, learning can be superimposed and so you don't have to fret. So I hope my three friends have been able to impress you and you feel empowered by the end of this video. If you wish to know more and in detail about these concepts, please visit my blog, the link to which I have attached in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and please like, share, comment and subscribe.